Hello, I'm Vicki LaRoe with Modern Joy Creators. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Today we're going to be doing actually two earrings in this tutorial uh, because they're both pretty quick and easy and they use a lot of the similar looking materials and uh, they're both just really easy and elegant looks so we can definitely do them uh, together in this uh, tutorial video. So we're going to be doing our teardrop circles here as well as our little satin floral earrings and uh, you may have the kit for these kind of depending on when you're watching this video but uh, even if you don't I'll run through the materials real quick and uh, oftentimes if we don't have the kit still available you'll be able to order just the individual uh, components if you wanted to. We're going to start with our little teardrop circles. I just love these earrings and if you've been like making jewelry for a while um, you know these are just really simple really elegant I understand kind of looking at them you'd be oh yeah that's easy and they totally are which is great but it doesn't mean that they aren't you know equally as gorgeous and they surely would be really well received as a gift or if you were selling um, them just because I think it's a gorgeous simple look that is easy to create and uh, still delivers just a yummy look so I'm gonna find somewhere to hang them quickly whoops so I'm gonna go through like I said the materials that we're using and all the steps here are quick so we're gonna do a um, I'm gonna make a silver one because these are um, when they're available as kits I do have them as silver and gold for as far as materials it's actually pretty pretty straightforward we're using these little 14 millimeter textured rings they're a little different than our satin rings they have a nice little hammered texture I'm using six millimeter jump rings and then the little teardrop shape of our um, crystal dangles and then the ear wire I'm using is kind of our long round ear wire I love this ear wire it's just kind of simple and long and sexy I think it's really pretty I love just how kind of long it is in the back so it just depends on the design I just choose the ear wire based on what I think kind of fits the balance of the design you know really well okay and for the little components on both earrings right we're just using our crystal cluster chain and all these little jump rings come apart so it's really easy to just use the little individual um, components here they're, they're perfect for earrings and um, of course it makes a gorgeous necklace or bracelet but I love using just little individual you know pieces for the earring okay so I'm going to tip the camera down we're going to go for a little ride and um, and make these real quick really pretty easy okay so down we go so that you can see and I can see what we're doing so these ear wires um, are pretty easy. I ended up actually making the little silver ones myself over a dowel and the ones I made aren't quite as long as the other ones but obviously when you're making them yourself you could do them any length you want but really easy just did it over a dowel 22 gauge wire. Um, I just think it's a lovely little ear wire. I'm going to have us just start with the jump ring and the component. Now not that it really matters, but on these little crystal components, there is a front and a back. The back is where the crystal is kind of pointy or sticking up. The front is the flat part. And it doesn't truly matter, but you will get more light and more reflection from the flat side than you will the kind of pointed up side. But they're both equally as gorgeous. I'm going to take the 6 millimeter jump ring and open that baby up to the side slip it through our component and through the ring our four millimeter ring and then close that up flush then all there is to do is to attach the ear wire so we want to see which side is the front and open that loop to the side you want to make sure you've made that ear wire loop large enough to go over your ring and then I'll close it up and that's it. 
so super cute and super pretty in silver. I mean, what was that? 10 seconds, 20 seconds, I don't know. We need to be back up. But, right, super, super quick, super fast. So it is just lovely in silver, really pretty. So I think these are great um, little ear wire. Or little earring, sorry. Um, and if we still have the kits, I think they're only like $11. But if you are doing, you know, you can get the ring separately, you can make the ear wires yourself or buy them separately, and, and of course the little chain. But very easy to make, really pretty. I've actually worn them several times. And um, I just they just fit with, you know, everything. They kind of go with everything. Okay, so let's do our second pair, our little satin floral earrings. These ones have a few more steps, a little more involved, but still still pretty quick and easy. Okay, so our pieces that we're using, let me swap out trays here. All right, we're gonna start with that little component, right? We need the little floral component. And we're using a different ear wire. I'm using just a ball ear wire, traditional ball ear wire. And we're using, of course, another drop crystal. This one has um, the triangle one, but I am um, gonna use a little round one, I think, on them. So any shape down here. Six millimeter jump ring attaches with that. And then there is the rhinestone heart, which is this rhinestone chain here. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. Okay. So let me lay these down. And the camera for another ride and we'll make the magic happen. Okie doke. Okie doke. So on the component there is a little drilled hole. So that's where the ear wire will go. It makes it very very easy. But the first thing we're going to do is attach that rhinestone and um, so there's a front and a back to the earring, of course, um, because that's where the rhinestone will sit. Sorry, I'm just grabbing the cutters. So, I'm using this larger um, four millimeter rhinestone, and what I'm gonna do is cut the rhinestone off, and it might have a little bit of the, see the the silver part that goes in between them <laughs> um, that makes it slide back and forth. So it might still have a little bit of that. If it does, you can cut that off. I'm trying to shake it out and cut it off. There we go. Okay. So then you just need a little bit of our Supplemax, the illusion cord, right? Um, and I've said this before, it's not fishing line. We need so I use a little darker background so you can see it. Maybe let's swap that up. Okay, All right, there's a supplement. Don't need much, a couple inches, we're good to go. So I'm gonna turn the rhinestone over and string through the back of it. It's hard for me to do it far enough away, but I'm gonna string through the back, right? So I'm just literally stringing under it. So when I turn it over, the stone's on the front, but I'm just stringing this supplement through um, the little back kind of setting, I guess. Then what I'm gonna do is kind of hang onto that rhinestone and fold these tails down. And I'm just gonna put one tail down, one of the little flower, like petal cutouts, and the other tail down another little cutout across from it, or roughly across from it. And pull it down until the rhinestone is sitting in the middle. Until it's sitting on that little circle. I don't like the way that one's sitting, so I'm gonna move this up to this opening and see if that sits a little better. So you might, yep, so you might just need to play with it so I pulled, so if I turn this over, I have the tails of the supplement's coming out 
of two of the little petal cutouts. Right, and it's just sitting on the front. I don't glue anything. And I guess you could glue it, but I, I'm not a fan of glue. Um, this is very quick and easy, very secure, and that way you can always take it apart and use it for something else. If you glue something, you'll ruin it. So all we're doing then is tying the Sublimax in two overhand knots. We'll take those tails. There's one. There is two. Ties beautifully. I'm going to use a little bit of clear nail polish on that knot to kind of seal it. Again, never a glue or anything like that. Then I'm going to cut, oh, wrong cutters. Make sure you use a proper cutter for string. And cut those tails. And there she be. Right? Pretty, huh? Very secure. You can't see it. Like, you can't see where the simple mixes went down, the um, petals at all. Like, it's very cool and very secure. I've worn these earrings a ton. Um, so, it's very secure. Not going anywhere. Looking good. Okay, easy peasy. So, let's put the ear wire on. You're going to open that loop on the ear wire to the side. You're going to make sure it's going the right direction, right? Because there's a front. So we're going to make sure it's going the, the right way so that your ear wire is facing the front. Perfect. Then you're going to take a four millimeter jump ring and the little component. I'm going to use a little round one instead of the um, diamond shaped one. You could dangle anything off of here or nothing at all. It's beautiful on its own. So either way. There's a front and a back to these little components. Not that it really matters, but if you're going to be technical, there is. Um, the like faceted side that bumps up is the back. The flat side is the front. And the flat side is just more reflective. And so it will let more light in and will look nicer. So I'm going to open the jump ring. And the jump ring is going to go through the pedal opening that is opposite the loop uh, where the ear wire was. Right, so it's just this bottom one. So it's perfectly across from it. Jump ring is in there. I'm making sure I've got the front of the component with the front of the ear wire. And then closing that flush. And that's it. Done. Easy peasy. And like I said, you could dangle anything off there. I think I like the, I definitely like the little teardrop, sh or the diamond shape better. I'm going to swap out for the, even the teardrop one. I just didn't have any of the little diamond shape handy because we've used it a lot lately. So. I'm just going to use up some of the other ones. Let me see if this teardrop shape looks nice. See, and that is how you figure out what to use. Yeah, that's very pretty. That's better than the teardrop, than the round, I think. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to tip it, tip you guys back up. But that's it. So easy, 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 easy peasy. Sorry, the sun is coming in. I'm getting kind of some reflections. But yeah, so gorgeous. So there's the one I just made. And there's the other one. I love this earring. Really pretty. And right now that go this little component only comes in the satin gold. Um, I haven't seen it in silver yet, but it's a really, it's a beautiful little earring. This is a very easy way to kind of dress it up. And there she be. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me for those uh, two quick earring tutorials. And uh, until next time, sparkle brightly like the star that you are. Mwah. Peace.